All right, Wrestling Mayhem Show. I want to give you a little insight as to why I picked Kurt Angle versus Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Chris Jericho versus The Rock or Chris Jericho versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. This match of those three matches had the least amount of interference and outside goings on. Not to say it had no interference, but probably the least. Um, this was also the match that the crowd was into all the way through. Um, they were there for The Rock versus Chris Jericho for some of it. Chris Jericho still a little early on in his stages. You know, this was sort of a, a launching pad for him, uh, you know, aside from a few shining light moments like his debut, you know, an undeniably exciting debut. But this really kind of launched him into being uh, recognized at every arena. You know, this, this was a stepping stone for him. Uh, and so people were shocked that it wasn't going to be The Rock versus Stone Cold. That was on everybody's sheets, you know. If you'd fill out a, a March Madness sheet for this, it's obviously The Rock and Stone Cold in the finals. But that's not what they got, and they were a little surprised by it. But uh, you get to see Stone Cold Steve Austin wrestle here. He, he gives Kurt Angle his German suplexes back, and you can see why Kurt Angle does them Every match in Stone Cold just does them in this match. It's it's a it's a different technique. It's a grittier technique. So, uh, boys, let me know what you thought. If you can call that thinking. Thank you.